Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal, the Nootropic Reviewer, sharing with you in this video four dangers that are associated with using lion's mane as a nootropic supplement. Now, I've used lion's mane for over eight years at this point. I'm very happy with the supplement. I feel like it's somewhat misunderstood because a lot of people are actually using lion's mane for productivity when it's going to help more so when it comes to things like stress and levels of anxiety. And one of the most controversial things about using lion's mane as a nootropic supplement is that we barely have any research actually showing that it's even effective at any Anything. As shown in this study here, Hericium erinaceus, that's the other term for lion's mane, in neurodegenerative diseases from bench to bedside. And they investigated lion's mane supplementation and its use for cognition and its effectiveness with uh, slowing down the aging process and even with uh, helping patients that had Alzheimer's. And what they did conclude was that lion's mane did in fact have some benefits, specifically around NGF and BDNF. And these are two proteins that are absolutely essential for good brain health, for neurogenesis, for forming new synapses, for learning new things. So increasing your BDNF levels has been associated with things like better memory formation, being more curious, even just being sharper on your feet. And they were hoping in this analysis that they did find that lion's mane may, would maybe have benefits with things like um, central nervous system or it having antioxidant properties. But the research was very light on this and they concluded that they would need to do more research to find out whether or not lion's mane could have such benefits. However, interestingly enough, in this study over here, they actually added lion's mane as well as reishi to pasta. And they had found that whatever benefits that pasta that would have had, it was enhanced with the use of lion's mane as well as reishi mushroom. And this actually is relevant because not everybody ingests lion's mane through capsule form or through powders, but using it in coffee is pretty common as well as adding it to foods. And now while I do enjoy many of the different coffee blends that do contain lion's mane, nothing does beat uh, the 8 to 1 dual extract from Nootropic Steeple. I've really been enjoying this product. I've tried other forms of lion's mane. I just don't find them to be as effective. Uh, the 1 to 1 may be good for um, some of the general health benefits, but when it comes to cognition, decreasing anxiety, feeling a little bit more present. I really enjoy this form of lion's mane. I've been taking 500 milligrams at least twice a day and I've been doing that for many years. If anything, I may adjust it to like taking it three times a day, but I try to make sure that during the day I have one gram of lion's mane mushroom from this specific brand and I'll just space it apart depending on how I'm feeling. And it's definitely very unique to other nootropic supplements because you ingest lion's mane and not only do you feel like you're in a better mood, but you're genuinely just more curious about things. Like if you take something like social anxiety, you don't really seem to have that anymore because you suddenly have interest in people so you're not really thinking about your agenda you see someone you're curious you want to ask them questions you want to better understand what's going on with them and it's nice knowing that suddenly things can become like fascinating in some cases which i had no interest in whatsoever before using lion's mane and i've talked more about the benefits of lion's mane mushroom in this video right over here but this video is dedicated to the side effects that are associated with lion's mane and getting into the very first one that would be demotivation and a lot of people would also call it anhedonia which is kind of like a feeling that you've lost interest in things that typically did interest you so when you ingest lion's mane, you have to understand that for most people, they're going to feel somewhat calm. They're going to feel a bit centered. They're going to get a mood improvement. But because of that, they actually get a little bit lazy and they get apathetic and maybe you can say a bit complacent. And yes, like maybe I kind of experienced it too, that it made me a little bit uh, less focused on like my short term and what I needed to do. But I did find that it helped to balance me out a little bit. And because of the fact that I use lion's mane along with other supplements, which are going to like increase dopamine levels and they're going to help me stay focused, it hasn't been an issue. But there's countless reports of this. If you look at Reddit, for example, um, and demotivation and anhedonia is one of the common reasons why people stop using lion's mane. But there are some cases where people take lion's mane, they feel more focused, they feel more productive. And I would guess that kind of happened because maybe they weren't in the best state beforehand and maybe they ingested lion's mane and it lifted their mood a little bit for them to be more productive. Like, although I do rate lion's mane very highly, I would never call it like a nootropic supplement. That's one of the best when it comes to like productivity and making money. I've talked more about those nootropic supplements over here. I think about lion's mane more like to help me stay consistent, help me be centered, and help me to enjoy like work-life balance a little bit more. One of the ways in which Lion's Mane has allowed me to stay more consistent with work is that I'm enjoying work more so I no longer have to go through these periods when I sprint for a long time and then I just crash and burn and I need to take time off. It's as if I'm able to find more enjoyment during my daily tasks when I'm at work and for that reason I don't really feel much of a need to take time off and I can kind of see how my short-term activities are going to translate to better results not only short-term but also long-term. The second major side effect that's associated with lion's mane is brain fog. 
I do want you to know this is very rare. Actually, most of these side effects are pretty rare, but fortunately we do have like quite a high volume of people using lion's mane so we can read more about anecdotes. But brain fog has not been something that has been found in any research. Um, neither has the demotivation effect that I mentioned earlier. But what that feels like is kind of feeling the same way you would if you're in a caffeine crash, like lower energy levels. Like it can be a bit more difficult than typically to like follow your schedule because you don't know what to do. You're a bit confused. You can be indecisive. Sometimes it's harder to think about things and you you need to retrieve those memories, let's say when you're having conversations. So you, it's a bad feeling that you just want to get out of. Although this is questionable and I would guess that that really does come down to the form of lion's mane that you take it from because if you've heard anything about lion's mane, where you get it from really does matter. I've not had a bad experience with any particular vendor. I've tried it from other places outside of Nootropics Depot, but I really like this eight to one dual extract. And I do read about a lot of people's experience when they use lion's mane from a specific source, they don't enjoy it, and then they try another source and then they have a good lion's mane experience. If you're somebody that's experiencing brain fog with lion's mane, you can consider trying it from another place. Maybe stop taking it in the morning, try it at a different time during the day, maybe space out your dosage because a lot of people are just using lion's mane once a day. I think ideally you wanna be taking it twice a day to see the best benefit. One hack around brain fog is using L-tyrosine as a supplement. So I also use L-tyrosine when I'm experiencing that brain fog you would get from a caffeine crash. And by taking 500 to 750 milligrams of the amino acid L-tyrosine, I'm able to get in a focus state, get that energy boost and be able to go about with my work. I use L-tyrosine every single day. I've talked about it more in this video over here. It actually increases dopamine levels, which translates to more productivity for most people. And then understand, you probably shouldn't notice any immediate benefit when you use lines, man. At least like I notice a slight benefit, but I really feel the benefits working on all cylinders after about a week of use. The third side effect you may want to know about is a drop in libido. Some people actually do believe uh, lion's mane can as well uh, decrease their testosterone levels because it can do some funny things when it comes to DHT with, and DHT is especially important in that whole conversation around testosterone. However, it's not been my experience that has dropped my libido. Um, I do read about examples of this and it's something that you may just want to be aware of, especially for somebody that maybe has libido issues. The same thing can be said about um, ingesting bacopa minari or even ashwagandha as a nootropic supplement. Now, at the same time, I've actually seen lion's mane help people to improve their libido. And that's because of the fact, of course, lion's mane is going to make you in a better mood. And when you're in a better mood, it means you're experiencing less stress. You're able to sleep better in a lot of cases. And these things just make your hormonal function be better. And then the fourth side effect, don't let this one scare you. It is very rare, but it's hair loss. I have seen many anecdotes about people mentioning that their hair started to thin when they started using lion's mane. But this is like a very, very tiny margin of people. And of my experience, and using nootropics over 10 years. When a nootropic supplement becomes popular, there's at least a couple of people who mentioned that it has actually caused hair loss. And now it's a little bit more believable with lion's mane because again, it affects your DHT, which could affect your libido levels and your testosterone levels as well. But it's most likely gonna be a negligible effect. And that's of course, one of the reasons why lion's mane is one of the most popular nootropic supplements out there. It was not like this five years ago, but there's a lot of people, including myself, that absolutely love lion's mane. I couldn't really imagine my life without it. Uh, yes, I could function without it, but using lion's mane has just made everything better. I'm in a better mood. I have better relationships with people. I'm more curious about everything in my life. And it seems to like have made it a lot easier to delay gratification, which is so important when it comes to productivity. If you did find this video valuable, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, and let me know your thoughts about Linesman in the comment section below. And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon and make sure to visit our Discord server, which has a 24-7 chat room. We're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and I look forward to seeing you next time.